Hello everyone, we are going to have a new video on possessive adjectives in pronouns and suffixes. Um, before going through the video, I would like to uh, just remind that please like the video and that will help me a lot. And uh, please take notes and review your notes and ask any questions that you have in the comments below. Okay. Um, and if you have any other questions, uh, I mean, if you want like private lessons, you can also go through my Facebook link and um, ask for some private lessons. I already uh, provide these lessons online so you can have also uh, some of these benefits okay let's go through this here we have the uh, possessive pronouns adjectives and suffixes we have zamirlar which is the pronoun and ek means suffix eklar the suffixes okay here i'm going to uh, remind you of the vowel um, harmony chart here at the top we have uh, o u a and u sound and we have ö, ü, ä and e sound as the thin um, vowels here so if we have uh, one of these uh, thick sound at the um, last syllable of the word we are going to have the suffix which is followed with, with one of these and the same uh, goes with here if at the end of the syllable we have one of the, the thin sounds we are going to follow with the uh, most harmonious suffix okay Let's see what we have here. We have benim. Benim. Which means mine. Ban means I. It's a subjective pronoun. And we have this im suffix here. For the next word that is going to be the noun after this benim we will have this suffixes let me give you the example so here we have bu benim bu benim it means this is mine so here we have one full sentence but the next one is bu benim kitabım Bu benim kitabım. So here you have benim and we have kitab, which is the book. This means this is my book. So when we bring a word after benim, here after this adjective pronoun, here we have the suffixes of im, um, um, and um according to the uh, harmony of vowels. So we have chosen um because here we have a. Benim kitabım. Which is, this is my book. Senin. Senin. It means yours, yours or your for both of them. And we have these suffixes for the following word. So the first example is bunlar senin, bunlar senin, which means these are yours, bunlar senin, these are yours. And we have bunlar senin kitapların, 
We have the plural form of kitap here. Kitaplar. Senin kitapların. These are your books. So we have one of these suffixes according to the last syllable vowel here. We've chosen un for it. So senin kitapların means your books. Onun. Onun. It means her or hers, his or its. For any of these uh, meanings, we can use onun. And we have the suffix e in four uh, shapes. Here we have these four shapes for the following words. The example is şunlar onun. Şunlar onun, which means these are his, or we can say these are hers, whatever. Şunlar onun kitapları. Şunlar onun kitapları, which means these are his books. Okay, so you see we have the suffix. A here chosen from one of these four. Onun kitapları. His books. The word, the following words should be kind of related to the pronoun here. That's why we are having the suffix as you see. Okay, we have we have a uh, bizim. Or bizlerin, both of them means our or ours. And for the following word, we have the suffix imiz, umuz, umuz, and umuz. So the example, bu bizim, bu bizim, which means this is ours. This is ours. Bu bizim evimiz, which means this is our house. Bizim evimiz, our house. Also, evimiz um, itself can mean our house. So if you just say evimiz without using bizim, um you already mean our house okay sizin sizlerin your or yours both of them means your or yours and we have these suffixes for the following word we have İniz, ınız, unuz, and ünüz. Bunlar sizin. Bunlar sizin. Which means, these are yours. These are yours. Bunlar sizin kitaplarınız. Bunlar sizin kitaplarınız. Which means, these are your books. These are your books. Okay. Also, if you only say uh, kitaplarınız, you already mean your books. Onların. Onların means their or theirs. With the uh, suffix for the following word. Here we have e, ı, u, or ü. For example, bu onların. Bu onların. This is theirs. This is theirs. Bu onların oğlu. Bu onların oğlu. 
which means he is their son. He is their son. Okay. So, yeah. As you have noticed, the suffix for the um, the third person, whether singular or plural form, is the same. The suffix group for the following word, you see, is the same as the um, the one we saw in the <clears throat> third person singular. So. Uh, when when you say Olu, it may mean his son also. It's it's not only uh, for onların. If you have to, if you are going to say their son, you must say onların Olu because it has already the same suffix with the um, what's that singular third person. So in order to emphasize on the uh, meaning of their, you have to say onların. Okay. Şunun, bunun, both of them means its. And uh, because it is singular third person, we have these uh, four suffixes for the following word. For, an, for example, we have bunlar şunun. Şunlar bunun. These are its. Both of them means these are its. So, uh, şu is for a little bit far objects. Bu is for uh, the close objects. Uh, so, you can say şunlar bunun, bunlar şunun. As we have here. Şunun, its. Bunun, its. Bunlar, şunun parçaları. Parça means piece. Şunlar, bunun parçaları. I read it once more. Bunlar, şunun parçaları. Şunlar, bunun parçaları. So, both of them mean uh, these are its pieces. Okay, so we have the suffix, the suffix i, uh, I here because of the uh, vowel of the last syllable. So when we say şunun parçaları or bunun parçaları, uh, we already mean its pieces. Şunların, bunların means theirs or their. So we have şunlar, şunların, onlar, bunların. So şunlar, şunların means these are theirs. Onlar, bunların means Those are theirs. Okay. Now, onların means their or theirs. Şu onların. This is theirs. Şu onların kitabı. This is their book. Okay. As you see, we have the suffix that I've written here after the following word. Onların kitabı means their book. Here we have um, all the adjectives and pronouns here. So, we have benim, 
senin, onun, bizim, sizin, onların, şunun, şunların, bunun, bunların, onun, onların. I read them once more. But fast. Benim, senin, onun, bizim, sizin, onların, şunun, şunların, bunun, bunların, onun, onların. Please don't forget to take your notes and uh, repeat all your notes once a while. So you will uh, master in this case. Practice makes perfect. Okay. So uh, here we have the uh, chart of the harmony of vowels. Um, according to this chart, um, we had the suffixes. Uh, so we have these suffixes also followed by uh, special names. So let me give you some examples. Here, uh, for example, I want to say Beratun. Berat is a name, Sinan is a name, and Van is a name of a city. So I want to say, so I want to say uh, Berat, something that belongs to Berat. Uh, I will say Beratun. And Sinan'ın, Van'ın. So, as you see, according to the last vowel here, I have chosen the uh, suffix un, which means something belongs to Berat, Berat's, Sinan's, Van's as a city. I mean, something that belongs to Van. Um, let's have another example. For the um, thick vowels at this side, Aykutun means Aykut. Aykut is the name of a guy. Umutun, Umut is the name of a boy as well. Istanbulun, it means Istanbul, so something belongs to Istanbul. We say Istanbulun. And let's give an example for the thin uh suffixes here we have the sin vowels ahmetin you see we have a and e here ahmetin means ahmet telinin means telins izmir is the name of a city here we have izmirin okay which means something belongs to which belongs to izmir now here we have the suffix un, sümbülün, sümbül is the name of a person, Ayşegül, Ayşegülün, means Ayşegüls, something that belongs to Ayşegül, Uzungölün, sorry, Uzungölün, uh, Uzungöl is the name of a very beautiful village, uh, it's very famous. For its green hills. I really recommend you to go and visit. Okay. Uzun gölün means something that belongs to uzun göl. So you see for the harmony of uh, the ö and ü sound we have chosen the suffix ün. Let's go to this part. If our um, last syllable, like if the word ends to a vowel, we have to have a consonant here. So we are going to have these examples as you see. Sedanın means something that belongs to Seda. Seda is the name of a girl. Leylanın, 
something that belongs to Leila. Bursa'nın, Bursa is a city, something that belongs to Bursa. Okay. We have Shebo'nun. Um, okay, Shebo is uh, the short form of Shebnam. They um, have it. I just wanted to uh, have a name that ends to O. They usually um, use the short form of a noun and use uh, O uh, to make a nickname. Okay, so we have Shebo. And if they consider it as a name, if they use it as a name, they will say Shebonun to refer to something that belongs to Shebo, which is already Shabnam. They call me so. Okay, we have, for example, Ezonun. Ezo is a name of a, um, is a short form of the name, something like Ezgi. Uh, so, Ezonun means something that belongs to Ezo, someone, someone is called so okay bolu bolu is the name of a city uh, bolunun so we have these uh, three un suffixes here according to the harmony of um, vowels here we have chosen because of this o and u okay we have aishenin you see we have a so also, e both together. Aishenin. We have the consonant of n here. Something that belongs to Aisha. Nejatinin. Nejati is the name of a boy. Um, Nejatinin. Something that belongs to Nejati. Isvitrenin. Something that belongs to Sweden. That's the way um they call Sweden. Okay, Bengunun. Bengu is the name of a girl. Bengunun. Döndü. Döndü is the name of a boy, I suppose. Döndünün. Um, again, we have the suffix un here. Üzümlünün. Üzümlü is the name of a city. I've, I've had to capitalize this one anyway. Üzümlünün, um, yeah, it's the name of a uh, small town. Uh, also, we add ün here to say something that belongs to üzümlü. Okay, so you saw all these four uh, shapes of the same suffix and how they are used. Uh, it is the same uh, with the other words of any object as you see these names were just an example and if they were the name of object and we would follow the same rule okay so here we came to the end of the video guys i hope uh, everybody has benefited um something from this video so don't forget to like, please. I know that you're learning something. See you on the next video. Good luck.